Area 23 is a unique realm in FNAF World. This realm has a gibberish name I'm not going to try to pronounce, so for simplicity's sake, I've taken to calling it Glitch Mode. In this episode, I'll explain how this realm works and some fun things you can do with it. In standard gameplay, there are exactly three entry points to Glitch Mode. One is a bird on a stump in Choppy's Woods, one is a gravestone in Black Tomb Yard, and one is a rock in Dusting Fields. All you have to do to enter is stand below the object and hold W to run into it for a few seconds. You can exit by going back over the same object again. Glitch Mode is the only area that introduces no clipping. You can simply walk over top of things as if you were hovering above the map. Glitch Mode also disables map triggers and jump points, so the only way to change areas in-game is to go back out the exit. Each of the three zones contains a red chest. The Joppy's Woods entrance leads to Auto Shield, the Black Tomb Yard entrance leads to Auto Mimic, and the Dusting Fields entrance leads to Block Unscrew. The enemies here appear to be combos of other enemies and can deal high damage attacks, including Alarm and Fourth Wall. If you enter Glitch Mode in the early game, you may want to run from battles, grab the chips, and get out as quickly as possible. The zones all have invisible borders, so you can't just walk wherever you want. Here's a map of the zones with their entry points marked. If you wander around inside enough, you might also notice there are other spots you can't walk through. These usually correspond to secret passages on the overworld. You can use glitch mode to discover where these passages are if you don't already know their location. If you manipulate your save file to place yourself outside the zone borders, you can walk around the entirety of the outside of the map and also go visit Geisler to the far right. But if you place yourself on top of a border, you won't be able to move. In the original release of FNAF World when the map was still too dimensional, Glitch Mode had a pretty game-breaking bug. Essentially, map assets would load in the wrong order, so anytime you reloaded while in Glitch Mode, the area wouldn't load right away so you'd be standing in the overworld for just a split second. However, that was just long enough to interact with what you were standing on, if that asset had already loaded. These included bosses, chests, and funhouse tents. Other interactable objects wouldn't load right away, so those still did nothing. Because of this, you could now fight random bosses while in glitch mode, collect chests you were supposed to find in the overworld, and travel through funhouse tents to other areas of the map. Tent hopping could be used to get yourself out of bounds, but it could also get you stuck since some tents would exit onto a zone border. Without doing any file manipulating whatsoever, you could access areas before you unlocked them, and even complete both the normal and hard mode endings really early in the game. In fact, you could do this even in the demo, where you weren't supposed to be able to access the endings at all. The first major update fixed this bug so that now map assets should load in the correct order, but the demo is still available on Game Jolt, so if you don't have the original 2D release, you can use that instead. That about covers it for this particular area. I hope you found this episode enlightening, and let me know what you think I should cover next. See ya!